Hello, this is Rick from MathX, and today we'll be taking on the Grand Slam of the AMC 8 of 2019. Now, I'm in ninth grade now, so this is my first time not taking the AMC 8, but every year I'm always excited to see what number 25 AMC 8 throws out, as number 25s on AMC 8 are always fun to look at. I'm not going to lie, when I saw 2019's AMC 8, I was kind of disappointed. Because the number 25s of AMC 8 are supposed to invoke a higher level of thought. But just knowing this kind of problem from experience, it looks like a simple textbook problem on a simple concept. Nonetheless, if you don't know the concept, then you have no chance of solving this problem. So that's why I'll be going over this problem today. To teach the concept and show you how easy this number 25 of AMC 8 is. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alice has 24 apples. In how many ways can she share them with Becky and Chris so that each of the three people has at least two apples? So this problem is really short. They just tell us the number of apples and then they ask us how many ways can you be distributed amongst three people so that everyone gets at least two. So what this kind of problem is, is a partition problem. They want us to break up the total number of apples amongst three people. Not evenly, it doesn't have to be evenly, of course that could be one of the cases, but just break them up. In this case, they set the restriction of at least two apples, but let's see what happens whenever we try to partition anything. So, there's a formula when it comes to partitioning, and there's also a concept. The concept idea behind it is called stars and bars, and the entire idea was formulated by just trying out to break up a row of stars with a couple of bars. But since stars are hard to draw, I'm just going to demonstrate it using dots and bars because stars are hard to draw using a mouse. So just dots and bars for now. Here's how the idea works. Let's say we want to divide five stars into three groups using these two bars. Then we could put any of these two bars in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ways. So we could arrange these bars in seven different positions. We have to choose two of them. So seven choose two different ways. If there's another star involved, then we have to arrange these two bars in any of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different positions. So there's eight total positions. We only need to choose two to put any of these two bars in. So six stars involved and two bars we do eight choose two when we add another bar to it that adds another position we could put any of these bars in one two three four five six seven eight nine nine choose three different positions so we can see that in this formula if we represent the number of bar stars as n and the number of bars as k, there's n plus k, choose k different ways to arrange this. So we have a formula to calculate for the number of partitions of a certain number. And now we can break up any number of elements into any number of groups. Now. What does this have to do with the original problem? So, just as how we've been finding out how many ways there's different, how many ways there are to bring break up n stars using k bars, if we express our n stars to be 24, and then breaking it up amongst three people, so only using two bars, because remember. It only takes two bars to break this up into three groups. We use stars and bars where n is 24 and k would be 2. But wait, there's that other condition where everyone has to have at least two apples. The formula doesn't take account for that. It just takes account all the ways we can take 
the partition of this number amongst different number of groups. We can eliminate this part of the problem. Let's just say everyone has two apples by default. Then you just have to find a way to partition the other apples amongst the remaining three people. So if you make sure that everyone has two apples in advance, Alex has two apples, Becky has two apples, and Chris has two apples, that already gets rid of six apples because there's three people and each of them are going to have two apples. So then we're left with 18 apples to partition amongst three people. Well, in this case, 18 would be the number of stars. So n would be 18. As I've said before, in order to partition it amongst three people, we only need two dividers. Because if you see here, these two dividers already create three groups on their own. So in this case, rk would be equal to two. Only two bars are needed. So then if we plug this in to the formula n plus k, choose k, we get 18 plus 2, choose 2. Now, this can simply be expressed as 20, choose 2. Now, choose is just 20 factorial divided by 18 factorial times 2 factorial. That's just what 20 choose 2 is. So if we want to simplify that even further, we just need to cancel out the 18 factorial on the numerator and the denominator. Because the denominator, 18 factorial is just 18 times 17 times 16 all the way to 1. And the 20 factorial already has 18 times 17 times 16 all the way to 1. So if we just simplify that further, we're just left with 20 times 19 over 2. From there, we can divide 20 from 2, and we're left with 10 times 19. 10 times 19 is just 190, so that's our answer. C. In this problem, if you already knew stars and bars in advance, you would know this formula. And if you know this formula, it's pretty easy to just give everyone two apples and then just take the plug in the values straight into this formula. So this problem is surprisingly easy as you just need a formula to solve it. And it comes down to whether you have the experience or not. If you have enough experience and you know this concept, then you're pretty much set for the test. Showing how in this problem, having a great breadth of knowledge could really save you. So just continue to keep on learning more concepts. So these kind of elementary textbook kinds of problems in which you just have to practice and apply a formula don't stump you.